Hey guys, Ranger Joe's here. In today's quick little video, I'm going to show you how to get the infected blood out of a zombie with an empty syringe. You just have to have it in your inventory, stand over a dead zombie that you've killed, hit the E button and it'll fill that syringe. And I'll go over that mission in a later time in another video on what that's for. But I wanted to go over the game fixes in today's patch on November 10th, 2015. And the first one is the coveted cigar hog mask skin. They've made that so it applies to a motorcycle helmet now, which makes sense because it goes along with the zombie king, the pumpkin head, and the scarecrow mask going on a motorcycle helmet. And that will give you some protection as well because it will be armored being it's a helmet. Also, the fire hydrants have new effects that should be able to show that you can get water out of them as well. Honey and honeycomb can no longer be eaten when it's stage 6 plus. They fixed the door bug, the gate ownership bug. I've had some issues with that in the last uh, week or so. Realizing that uh, I couldn't change my code on the door. Uh, also, the zombie encounter music is active and the volume can be adjusted in the sound settings. Item stacking in the containers, uh, that's been a bit of a pain in the tail. And they fixed that as well, so that'll stack them better now. Also, uh, visual uh, variety has been added to the zombie horde, so they've mixing that up a little better. They've been working on that for a while now, and that's definitely gotten better. Uh, more specimen bags should drop more often, and that goes along with the zombie brains and the infected blood that I've been collecting. And I'll go, I'm gonna make a video on that down the road. Uh, not a big change, but the Australia Battle Royale solo will start at 40 instead of 100. I guess they're not having a lot of luck getting 100 people to play Battle Royale. Uh, it should no longer be possible to place objects on top of weapons dropped on the ground. So, I didn't know that was a problem, but I guess it is. Uh, many placed items on PvE servers are now damageable when those objects are not placed on a foundation. And also, punji sticks will, will now show damage, or they will damage all zombies. I've gotten quite a few zombies and animals dead in my punji sticks. And also, the fire axe can now be used to harvest slain wildlife and zombies, and that's been an issue for a while. So that wraps up the game fixes for November 10th, 2015. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.